Hi guys, um, and welcome to Disturbed by Brad Moore. Um, let's go. Another dull day passes as you struggle to man manage your failing farm. Your crops are beginning to wilt. Your cow is sick. For some time, the land has been very quiet. The air has grown grown thick and foul. Each passing day, you feel more uncertain if things will ever return to how they were before. Perhaps it is up to you. You made up your mind. You're going to do something about it. You stand in front of your humble home, pondering what you should do. Next. Oh, jeez. Go to the crops. Go to the I, thought that said, I thought that said uh, cops for some reason. Go to the crops. A path divides the cr crops. You have labored so hard to prosper. These past months, a, pr a penetrating order reminds you that your plants are decaying away and time is running short. Follow the path. Go into the pen. Um, I don't know nothing about uh, farming, so follow the path. You continue down the trail for a while until you see a cave off in the distance. You pause, <clears throat> questioning if there could be something use helpful in there. I'll go in there. There's a faint whistle from the wind passing through the rocks. The temperature significantly, significantly cools as you enter the cave. You notice that there is, as, there is a different spell smell, but you welcome it, comparing it to the deathly blind light from outside, from the, the, go further, oh shit, before you step your, take your next step, a large bear emerges from the darkness, you realize that you have made a terrible mistake, even thinking that something helpful can be in there, ah, oh, run away, the moment you turn to run, the bear roars with a deep growl, Shaking loose stones about the cave. All you can think about is making it back home in one piece. Oh, well, you make it to the trail. Then the bear chase catches up with you, tackling you to the ground. You scream in pain as the bear rips you apart. Your adventure ends there. Search another off. <laughs> okay. Um... That didn't work. Uh, I'll, I'll go into crops again. Blop. Uh, let's go to the pen. Oh. Oh, it's so sad. Go grab a mushroom. Why would I need to grab a mushroom? Let's grab it. You kneel down and grab a mushroom. As you grow, begin to rip out of the ground, clouds of spore spray from the mushroom. Your hands begin to burn and melt as you observe them. Slow, oh my god. Slowly your body shrivels up in, into a dark, moist consistency as the poison spreads. You die eventually after crawling about on the ground. Your adventure ends there. Those are some serious <laughs> Um... Gosh, that's this is not going well. Okay, go to the crops. Uh, go to the pen. Uh, inspect the water. You inspect the water, looking for anything abnormal. You notice that the water has a dark consistency to it, dropping a stone into it. Black particles from the bottom swirl about like a thunderstorm. Your face shrivels in disgust. Oh, leave pen. I'm not gonna act grab it again. A path divides the crops. You blah 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 blah. Uh, follow the path. Yep. Continue down the path. Path. You came to a stop and you stumbled upon a broken wagon. Inspect the wagon. You look about the mess, find bits of food and scattered and clothes scattered about the scene. You notice a key on the ground during your search. You pick up the key and continue on your way. 
I felt, I felt like an hour or two. You, you reach a bridge nearby the path. It's a small shack similar to the house you have on the farm. The man that lives here is a kind fellow, for what you call. Maybe he is home? You walk towards the sh structure and knock on the door. You scratch your head. You scratch the back of your head, figuring that the person that lives here is currently occupied. Oh my god. Big words. I just did that. You remember picking up a key from a wagon. You use it on the door. The door unlocks. Oh dear. You hope yourself in. Yeah, you had to decide. Oh god. Observing the empty room, you realize something terrible must have taken place here. The room was a wreck, just like the wagon. You are overcome with fear as you think of the man that used to dwell here. Mm. Shut up, phone. Uh, inspect the book on the shelf. You pick up the book and start flip through the pages. You discover that this is a journal. Reading a passage or two can't hurt. Today's trading went smooth and thank goodness. What I'm thrilled most about Helper is that what, is what one of my buddies mentioned to me at the conclusion of our day. Apparently there is a pond nearby that has some of the biggest fish in the region. With a good catch, I can make, some, make enough to move forward. I was caught off guard when men, when he mentioned that somebody has been able to catch fish from here. From there, I guess your typical fishing rod won't do the trick. But what can be done about it? Something to be intrigued about, I suppose. <sighs> These past weeks have been really rough for me. My trading business has gone under. I have lo lost nearly everything I own. This has pushed me to extremes, extremes, but that can't be helped now. I am leaving this place forever and never to return. The dying land, the, uh, the land is dying, and there is nothing but darkness here. Anyone reading this should leave while they can. You can't find a name to give this man, but regardless of the name, you got chills running down your spine. Open the trap door. You deserve the trapdoor, notice it locked, keeping it closed. With the key, you unlock the hatch and get, up, get it open. Without thinking, you shovel downward. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Walking down the steps. Walking down the steps, leaning low, the air attacks your body with the piercing cold. You notice immediately that there is a woman chained to the wall. She doesn't seem to notice you as you study her. You feel darkness are surround you as you stay in this awful place. Talk to the woman. You tremble as you try to form words in your mouth. You there, let me out of here. The pressure of such a man makes you freeze. You take a moment to think about the situation where you respond. What got you left up to begin with? You'll never believe me, even if I told you the truth. Dots. Something brought you here. Please have mercy on me. Uh, are you serious? I'm gonna release her. You approach the woman and lock the shackles that bind her. As her arms become free, she moans in pain. Oh, thank you for so much. The woman struggles to regain her strength, but starts to stand on her own. As she gets up, she turns towards you. Oh, Jesus. I will now do you a favor. The western face of a helpless woman disappears as horrible image manifests, manifests itself before you. You feel the gr chilling grip of bone hands lock on your arms. Energy flees from your body and you fall to your knees. You feel the essence of life's... Oh my god. Lady, really? Well, okay then. This game... Is weird. I have not even checked. I haven't even uh, saved. I don't know. I don't really know how to. Anyways, that's it for this one, guys. Um, I will see you in the next one. So yeah, bye guys.